even if you aren't a religious person, now might be the time to start praying because, as the title suggests, America is experiencing a civil disagreement, a not-so-civil riot, and soon enough, if the types of things I'm going to tell you all of you about do in fact continue, a civil war seems somewhat likely. Crazy enough as that sounds. I really wish I was exaggerating, but event after event like the one that happened today could lead to such a disaster. Now, to understand all of this, let's talk about what was going to happen today. Today is a Wednesday. It's January 6th, 2021, and this is the day the Senate was supposed to meet and confirm whether or not President-elect Joe Biden was to become the 46th United States President. One of the main topics they actually debated about was whether or not to recount the Electoral College votes, but it is pretty much all but confirm that Joe Biden is going to win and become president. For reasons that should be obvious, Donald Trump is not too happy about this. He wants to get his second term. So, ever since the results of the election from November 3rd, Donald Trump has tried his best to prove that the election was in fact rigged, using his legal teams to sue people affiliated with the election that he thought were guilty of tampering with votes. As the weeks went on and near today's date of January 6, 2021, Trump contacted the Georgia Secretary of State, Brad Raffensperger, to, quote, find more votes in order to win the election. Raffensperger turned his offer down, and it's apparent that Trump may face criminal charges in the future for this action, though it is unclear what may or may not occur. Which leads to today. From the White House, Donald Trump made a speech and encouraged the supporters to go to the protests located at the Capitol building in Washington, D.C., and sometime after he did so, the protests turned into riots. There, outside the Capitol building in D.C., thousands of protesters completely filled the streets, being blocked from entering the aforementioned building by the Senate police. And, I mean, seriously, look at how many people are here. I'm not kidding when I say there are thousands upon thousands of Trump supporters filling the streets. However, the Senate police didn't hold them forever. Eventually, people actually breached the barrier set up by officers and stormed into the Capitol. This does bring up a security concern. Many do consider the security detail provided to the building to be not adequate enough. Which, after what I've seen today, I totally agree with. This should have never even happened. But I digress. Now, at this point in time, it's not crystal clear what has happened within the Capitol, but according to most reports from news outlets, there have been multiple gunshots heard sounding off in the building, and at least one person, a woman, has been apparently confirmed dead due to a gunshot wound, with an unconfirmed amount of other injuries or other fatalities. In the midst of this chaos, the senators were evacuated out to a secret location for the sake of their safety. This was also the case for Vice President Mike Pence, having been present in the room the whole time, as he was also sent to a safe location as well. As for the representatives from the House of Representatives, they sheltered in place within their own chamber, where they were given gas masks to wear, and they were instructed to hide beneath their seats if need be. And these seats are in fact bulletproof, so they provide ample protection from gunfire. Yeah, I know this is getting a bit grim, so I decided I thought I should put in something a bit funny one of the reps said. It was Representative Steve Cohen, a Democrat from Tennessee, and he informed a news outlet that he had a, quote, baseball bat at the ready if the sons of bitches come in, end quote. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought I should add something like that to lighten the mood, if only a little bit. Anyways, it was at 5 p.m. that local and even federal law enforcement came to the aid of the Capitol Police, where they had been slowly but surely regaining control. During all of this, the mayor of D.C., Muriel Bowser ordered a citywide curfew beginning at 6 p.m. today, Wednesday, January 6th, until 6 a.m. on the day of Thursday, January 7th. The following quote I'm about to read is what the curfew will entail. Quote, During the hours of the curfew, no person, other than persons designated by the mayor, shall walk, bike, run, loiter, stand, or motor by car or other mode of transport upon any street, alley, park, or other public place within the district. The curfew imposed by the mayor's order shall not apply to essential workers, including working media with their outlet-issued credentials, when engaged in essential functions, including travel to and from their essential work. Basically, the mayor doesn't want people to go out and continue rioting. Officials definitely need time to fix the damage. Individuals that do remain outside past this time are subject to arrest. So to all my 
probably non-existent DC fans out there. Don't be stupid, okay? Stay inside and do literally anything else. Snort some coke for Christ's sake. I don't care. Just follow the curfew or else you'll get in major trouble, and we don't want that. Anyways, getting back on topic, uh, Mike Pence later took action today, deploying the DC National Guard as part of the much-needed capital reinforcement. Later on, uh, several hours after the event had begun, in fact, Trump managed to get a video statement out to the American people, declaring that all rioters must go home, but still insisting in the same clip that he had won the 2020 election. However, this video did not last long, as social media companies did not take kindly to it. On Facebook, Trump's video was deleted, and the same thing happened on YouTube. The video on his channel was also removed. On Twitter, Trump's tweets stating this type of misinformation were deleted, and his account was also suspended. In effect, he was all but censored from the internet. But yeah, several hours after the event began, it's died down, and now that the curfew's in effect, it's all but over, it seems to be. There are some stragglers, but the aftermath seems to be controlled by the law enforcement. And more interestingly, the Senate and the House reconvened, and as a result of the aggressive nature of the Trump supporters, they are highly considering skipping recounting the votes and going forward with their decision on who won the 2020 election. Which, from the looks of things, is definitely going to be Joe Biden. So, in summary, Trump supporting rioters broke into the United States Capitol building due to their displeasure with the supposedly rigged electoral college votes of the 2020 election, causing violence and resulting in at least one death, forcing senators and representatives to seek safety, and seemingly at the end of it all, Trump finally made a response telling his supporters to go home, though still bringing up the idea that votes were tampered with, and much, much more, but what I mentioned were the most important parts. At the very least, they were some of the most important parts. I believe. Now, you might be wondering what I have to say. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is a disgrace. As an American myself, I am deeply ashamed to know that our legacy can be so easily tarnished by troglodytes like the ones who are writing today. There have been some embarrassing events in America's past, but goddamn, does this one take the cake. A little word of advice, people. It is not legal to aggressively riot, let alone storm a government building. When you want to get something across to the government, look no further than America's First Amendment. That's right, folks. There is such a thing as peaceful protesting. Incredible. I never knew this before. <laughs> oh, wait. I did. Because I'm a responsible American who has read the Bill of Rights, the amendments, and, and the laws, and everything you need to know. But apparently, some people don't know what they're doing. They have their head up their ass like an ostrich in the sand. Except, instead of sticking their head in the sand, they're sticking it up their own goddamn rectum. I can't state enough how embarrassing this is. Y you don't have to football charge police officers while chanting, USA! USA! To get your message across, people. I mean, what, what more can I say? For the past decade or so, the, the United States of America has been a laughingstock of other major developed countries. We've got some issues, man. A history of racism we're trying to uproot, school shootings, you name it. People of other countries really get on us, and they're not even all that wrong. We have these massive issues because, among Americans, there are some genuinely stupid people, and there are also some genuinely terrible people, and the only thing we can hope to do is to try to change their minds, which is not exactly feasible considering these individuals. I mean, these are the same type of idiots who believe that 5G towers are beaming out cancer like laser beams. And bro, worse yet, all of these problems may culminate into an American Civil War. I know, it's crazy to say, and maybe I'm even wrong, but am I though? I, I feel like this could happen. What happened today felt like the beginning of a revolution. It felt like they were trying to overthrow the government, not just turn over some election fraud or whatever they're claiming happened. For now, I'll simply say this about the event that happened on this mistake of a day. We need to do better, America. What the hell happened to us? What happened to the America I learned about in, in textbooks, huh? What happened to that sense of unity, all the responsible people, and any feeling of being proud to be an American? Because I can say that I am not exactly proud right now. Sure, we have a badass military with B-2 bombers that'll send the commies to kingdom come, but what about the place that military is trying to defend? That place matters. America matters, but people are treating it like it's a free-for-all battle royale, like Warzone or Pub. Oh, gee, seriously, I wouldn't be surprised if some of the rioters were out there using some damn frying pans as melee weapons. <sighs> okay, what I'm trying to get at is we as a people need to regain our unity, our responsibility, our pride, and our dignity. We look like fools. 
America is not just the clown, but the whole ass circus right now. But I know that fools are not the majority. True Americans are not fools. We're great people that want not just us, but the entirety of the world to thrive. At least, that's what I want. And I think everyone should want that too. So, to formally conclude, I hope the meeting goes well and the results of the election are confirmed. Much love to everyone watching this, especially to those in DC. I hope you're all safe. Be well, everybody, and please, be excellent to one another. We're all human, after all. This has been your boy, JRAS, hoping against hope that the United States of America does not enter civil war and instead becomes a truly great nation once more. Signing off. Peace.